Right now it's 30 degrees and it's time to bring in Pat Pagano. Good morning, Pat. Well, good morning, and how are you? Not too bad. Had a little bit of light snow yesterday, <clears throat> just not much, but uh, it is uh, feeling much warmer this morning because there's no breeze. That's right. And, uh, yeah, we had light snow, too, here in the lower Hudson Valley. So, um, you know, it wasn't a big deal yesterday. Uh, just kept reminding you that December's on the way. December, the month that we normally refer to as dark December for two reasons. One, um, the days are shorter right up until the first day of winter. And two, um, generally it's cloudy. You don't get many sunny days in the month of December. Uh, today, however, we'll have clouds and sun shared in the middle 40s. Tonight, rain showers will develop after midnight, mid 30s. A few showers around for tomorrow. Cloudy and windy, 45 to 50. Partly sunny Friday, windy, mid 40s. Sunny to partly cloudy, breezy, low 40s Saturday, and the same for Sunday. So all of your um, events and plans um, from Friday through the weekend should not be a problem. Again, it's chilly. It's not cold the way it could be. And it's going to be a little bit on the breezy side. What more can you ask for? It's seasonal. It's seasonal. Right. Yeah. Right. And, it, you know, it's at my house, we still have about two inches of snow left on the ground. Good for you. Now, what, do you th what are the chances you think of a white Christmas this year? Have you started putting that together? I, I mean, you know, you look in the... My long-range forecast, I'm saying no. I mean, again, a white Christmas meeting, snow will fall on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. Doesn't mean there's snow on the ground. Because yeah. if, if right now, if today was Christmas Eve, you'd have a white Christmas. Because yeah. you have two inches of snow on the ground. Well, I, I see, I, I always look at uh, white Christmas is if there's, it, it's got to be a covering of snow that the no grass shows to me. And, right. And if that's, if that's, then it's a white Christmas to me. Um, if yeah, it, well, if, if I, it, if I see more... Uh, Marshall, I see during the middle part of the month, I see a, a pattern change to very mild weather. Right. Now, how long that's going to stay, I don't know. But I, that's what I see, middle part of the month. Well, the longer the snow holds off, the better it's going to be because finally I can announce the second, uh, the second uh, I'll, they'll be working on my right knee the week of December 13th, uh, and December 15th, and December 17th. And uh, that's when I get the, the, the wrap-up work on my knees. Uh, so my right knee will be done then. And if it, there's a warm-up in the middle of the month, uh, that'll make getting around much easier. Right. But now you gave me three days uh, every other day. They're going to work on your leg every other day? Uh, well, what it is is uh, this time, instead of three days, it's only two days. Uh, the, uh, on, on Wednesday... Uh, on Wednesday at the 16th, I think it is, uh, they aspirate the knee. That means any of the fluid that's built up in the knee, they get rid of. Uh, then they, on that day, they also go in and uh, they get my uh, my uh, stem cells. Uh, oh, I and and, uh, and then there's about a 30 or 40 minute break. And then they go back in and they put the stem cells uh, into the knee. And then uh, on Friday, the next day, uh, you know, they skip one day, and then on Friday, they go back in. And so this is the worst part of the treatment is that they then take uh, fresh blood from you, okay, and they re-inject the knee, the ligaments, the tendons, and the bone uh, there. Because it's kind of like if you're, if you're, if you're planting, it's kind of like putting fertilizer down by having the fresh blood there. It, uh, it 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 the t the uh, cells the stem cells react better and quicker, so it's it's kind of like you know, and then that's it. So I think that I think if it if I do it like we did it last time, I'll probably uh, rest on Thursday and not come in. All depends how I feel, real. and then because I'm having the more vigorous part on on Friday. Uh, I'm, I'll probably will not come into the station on Saturday because last time the, the the thing on Friday just completely drained me. I was you know I was just completely drained uh, until until Sunday. So, but uh, the second knee gets done that middle of in the middle of December. Very good. Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Um, meanwhile, um, I went to the dentist yesterday to see what uh, she's going to suggest about uh, replacing the extracted teeth um 
And, uh, you know, of course, they go right to implants. I said, nope. I said, maybe down the road, but not now. I said, it takes too long and it's too expensive. So she goes, okay. I said, so can we do a bridge? And she, and she was talking to her technician. She goes, yeah, uh, get me the x-rays. Um, she said, I think what we'll do is a crown and bridge on each side. I said, okay. She said, I'll speak with your insurance company, draw up the plan. She said, I'll give you a call and we'll go from there. I said, okay, great. So that's the chapter there. And tomorrow, I go for my booster shot. Uh They just sent me a reminder. So I'm looking forward to that because especially in light of this new stupid variant, um, it's very, they're saying it's very important to get the booster shot. I mean, there's, you know, there's, there's more that they don't know than they do know. You realize that. Well, that's the whole thing. COVID. And that, that, you know, and that's what people have to realize is that, um, it's it's a virus. It changes. It mutates. It's all over the world, and uh, at this point, uh, people shouldn't get excited or upset or nervous or anything. Just do what they feel that they have to do, uh, and don't worry about anybody else. Just worry about yourself, you know. And mm-hmm. and 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 don't be don't be frightened because you know what, it is what it is, and and. Uh, and if you protect yourself and you, you you've done all you can do and uh, and don't worry about anybody else just to protect yourself that's you know yeah, that's yeah, it I, I i have to totally agree with you i mean at this point right now uh, you're right it's a virus you know uh, some people have asked me and it's a great question they said how come we get the flu each year they have the flu shot a lot of times it doesn't work because they you know they they, they're just guessing at the strain that will be around. I, how come they don't tell us every year how many people have come down with the flu week by week, how many people were hospitalized, and how many people died with the flu? But yet they're doing it with COVID. I said, I can't answer that question. You have to ask the scientists. I don't know why they don't do it. Um, but the the flu uh, the the matter you know you you know as well as I do the flu is deadly. Yeah, I mean uh, hundreds of thousands of people die each year in the United States from the flu. So why they're doing it with COVID and not this I don't know, um, because everybody knows that COVID's been around for a very long time. Not this particular strain, but we all know that COVID is part of SARS. Yeah. And SARS has been around for years and years and years and years. So just like you said, Marsha, you're right. Viruses mutate. And SARS mutated to COVID. You know, I'm sure at one point COVID's going to mutate to something else. It's just it's just what it is. And like I said, uh, worry about yourself. Right? You know, just worry about yourself. Don't uh, worry about somebody else, whether they're getting a shot or not, or whether they're wearing a mask or not. Just do what you feel is right for yourself. That's it. Yep. You got it. That's just, that is the only, best advice. Yeah. Only way to go. Only way to go. I tell you. Uh, what else? Uh, I'm trying to think what else is going on here. Um, you know, it's funny. Uh, the temperature. It's only about five degrees warmer this morning than yesterday. Uh, but without the wind, it feels and, so much and, better. And the difference in my knee walking out to the car was mm-hmm. tr- was tremendous. You know, when, when you get out and it's windy and it's like 19 or 20 degrees, the knee immediately wants to lock up that one knee, but that difference of no wind in five degrees made all the difference in the world this morning. I think we're going to have to, folks. I, what I, <laughs> I think, I think we're going to have to start something new. We're going to have to start the MKI. MKI. The Marshall Knee Index. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and Marshall will let us know each day how it was on a basis of one to five. Five being the worst, one being the best. So today, what would you give it? A three? Uh, what's the best? Uh, the best is one. I would give no, it. Well, let's do a reverse. The best is five. The worst is one. I would give it four and a half today. Oh, there you go. Four so and a half people today. who suffer with arthritis <laughs> or problems with the knees, Marshall says today it's a four and a half, which means, uh, you, you know, you not should too be bad. Not too bad today. That's exactly right. Not too bad today. All right. Well, I took uh, uh, my, uh, my dog, Georgia, went to a... I went to the pet pretty parlor and she got all gustied up yesterday. Looks real nice. Looks okay, real nice. Gonna, gonna take a picture with Santa? Uh, no, 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 no. She'll probably pee on Santa. It's just no. 
<laughs> I'm so, sure it wouldn't be the first or last time that, that no, happened to him. No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I want you to know my lights are going perfectly, and you've got your are – you, are your lights up and on yet or no? Uh, no, I just have the one bay window with the nativity in it that light up that lights up. Uh, that's all I have yet, and uh, hoping to run the wires tomorrow when it gets mild, and then over the weekend I'm hoping to run the lights. All right. Well, I'm hoping we'll speak to you tomorrow morning and have more decent weather. Yep. Yeah, well, I'm hoping the same. All right, Pat. I'll speak to you tomorrow. Okay. Bye, Marcia. Bye, bye. Pat Pagano this morning in the Weather Center here on Robin Hood Radio with our tri-state forecast.